Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Open Broadcaster, which is a free piece of software to screen capture your computer. So if you're playing video games and you want to do screen captures and upload them to YouTube or you want to make video tutorials and you want to show your mouse cursor or you want to you know, be playing games or whatever you want and you want to screen capture what you're seeing on the screen, you can use a bit of software called Open Broadcaster to do that and it's free to download and free to use. So in the YouTube description, I'm going to add a link to Open Broadcaster video tutorial showing you how to install the software. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set it up so that you can start recording your screen. It's very simple. So we'll open up Open Broadcaster and you'll, know, you'll probably see one thing. You probably can't see this on your screen, but I'm actually using ultra wide monitor. But what I normally do is in my display settings, when I do these tutorials, I know that most people will not be using ultra wide monitors. They're going to be using 1080p. So it will be 1920 pixels across and 1080 high. That's kind of like your default sort of standard now for monitor sizes. Uh, some people have widescreen monitors. There's so many different devices. But if you record your video at 1080p, then more than likely everyone's going to be able to watch that video whether you upload it to YouTube or Facebook or somewhere they're going to be able to see that video on their device quite easily so to do that on my desktop uh, if I go to display settings you can see the first monitor is set to ultra wide which is 2560 pixels by 1080 so I've actually got dual screen monitors running at this resolution but when I make a YouTube tutorial or if I want to screen capture some game or some video I set the, the monitor that I'm going to screen capture, this second one for example, the one you see right now in the background, I set that to 1080p, so 1920 by 1080 I do my video screen capture and then afterwards I set it back to um, the ultra wide resolution when I'm doing my work for example. So that's just a quick note that that's something you may want to do. So let's open up Open Broadcaster and here you can see the software. Now, if you've only got one monitor screen, then you're going to see it on this screen. But normally what I do is um, I set uh, the capture here. If I open it, I will set it to a specific display. Because you, you can see here I've got two displays, right? So if I set this, for example, to... Let's just minimize this. If I set it to this other display, this is, this is the recording software I'm using right now to record this video. And this is my second monitor but I'm going to set it to the first monitor, which will be running at 1080p. So if you've got dual screens, you can select the relevant monitor that you want to capture. And normally Open Broadcaster, I'll have that on the second screen. You won't actually see that on this screen. Uh, here, it will be set on the second screen and you'll just see me making the video here. But in this case, I need to show you the software. So I'm going to move it to this screen here. Now, there's a couple of default settings that you want to do. I'm going to quickly run through them. I've done them before. so I'm just, I'll add the links in the YouTube description, but I'm going to quickly run through them because I want you to get the best capture possible. So let's just say, for example, uh, we're going to go to control panel here. And if you're doing audio, so if you're speaking while you're playing the game or you want to capture the audio from your microphone, go to, I'm doing this on Windows, by the way. So we'll go to control panel here, click on control panel, Go to hardware and audio. So I'll click here on the green hardware and sound, sorry. And then we'll click sound here. And then click recordings. And then under recordings, you've got your microphone. When you see your microphone, click properties. And then go to levels. And as default, Microsoft will set this to 50%. And I found that 50% was way too low. The audio is very, very quiet. It was hard to hear me. So I set the audio to 100%. Yeah, So set it to 100%. Uh, click OK and then close this and then the audio levels will be much better. The other thing you need to do is click on this cog and then go to filters and in filters I'm just going to remove this one and as default if I'm if I stay quiet for just a few seconds just watch this this meter level it will still although I'm quiet it will still keep moving. So we need to fix that. We need to have it so that when when there's silence, we don't really want this microphone to move or just move by the fraction. It's so sensitive right now that it will pick up any background audio like the computer fans and stuff like that. We don't really want that. So what we're going to do is go to this plus sign here and we're going to click in a noise suppression here. We'll click OK 
and then the best option that worked for me was minus nine. So you need to experiment with that. But if we set it to minus nine, if I say nothing now, we'll see where these audios, this audio level sits. So as you can see, the audio level will sit right down at the bottom and you won't hear any background sound. So that's how you set the background sound and the audio quality should be really good now. Okay, so you've got everything set up. You've selected the correct monitor screen, that's important. And the next thing you want to do is start recording. So all you need to do is click this record button, start recording. So I'm going to click that now. And it's actually recording what you see on the screen. So I'm going to minimize this. So normally you would minimize it. You would give a few seconds gap because you want to edit this video afterwards. So normally you minimize it. Don't really say anything for a few seconds. So you've got a few second gap and then start to speak about what you're going to do. So if you're going to play a game, you'll load up the game. If you're going to do tutorial, you start your tutorial. So let's just say that I'm going to do tutorial on, uh, I don't know. Um, here, let's show you an example. So this is my new YouTube channel. It's called Unbox Kings. Why don't you come and check out Unbox Kings? I'll put a, a link in the description. So this will be an example of a little sort of video I'm making. Here you can see two videos. One is about uh, unboxing a Mace Windu special edition collectible lightsaber and the other tutorial or other video that we've done is unboxing Pandora's box which has 960 arcade games in one little machine. So this is a new YouTube channel I've just started quite recently a few weeks ago. Uh, actually go and have a look at it if you get some free time. Just type in Unbox Kings UK, Unbox Kings UK into uh, YouTube. You type that in there. You'll see our YouTube channel here. Feel free to subscribe. Watch some of the videos. They're pretty funny. So you might you might enjoy that. Especially this lightsaber one is really funny. So check that one out. Uh, and there's this one about uh, this arcade machine that we got. And we unboxed it as well. So check out our unboxing channel. That's a different channel. Today we're looking at DCP Web's channel. This is like my business channel for tutorials. So all of that, what I've just said, has been recorded by this software. So if I open it now and I click stop recording, we need to now get access to that video that we just recorded. So that might be a computer game video, that might be a tutorial that you're doing. So we'll go to file and we'll go to show recordings. And inside of this folder, here you'll see the recording. So I'm just going to drag and drop that temporarily to my desktop. I'll minimize this and we'll open this and we'll just have a quick look at it. And it's actually recording what you see on the screen so i'm going to minimize this so normally you would minimize it you would give a few seconds gap because you want to edit this video afterwards so normally you minimize it don't really say anything this is done is unboxing pandora's box which has 960 arcade games in one little machine so this is a new youtube channel i've just started so hopefully you can see the picture quality the audio quality is really good on this video and this was captured using this free bit of software called uh, Open Broadcaster. In the YouTube description, I will put a link in there to show you how to download the Open Broadcaster and how to set it up. And this was just a quick tutorial showing you how to actually do the recording. And then now you've got the recording on your computer. You can take that into another bit of software and you can start editing it and chopping it up. In the next tutorial, I'll actually show you how I... I, how I edited this video right here. Let's go back a channel, hit back a page. This lightsaber one, uh, it's about nine minutes long, but I used another bit of software called uh, Magic's Movie Edit Pro. I'm using the 2019 version. So I'm gonna make a tutorial uh, in the next video showing you how I use that software and um, to edit the open broadcast video that I captured. So in fact, in that video, I used um, a mobile phone to capture the video. So that's not quite true. I didn't use Open Broadcaster, but it doesn't really matter. Raw video is raw video, whether it's from a from a mobile phone camera or whether it's something that you captured using Open Broadcaster, it's still raw video. You need to go in and edit that video afterwards uh, and make polish it up and edit out any errors or any mistakes. Um, so I'll show you how to do that using Magic's Movie Edit Pro. So I hope you find this tutorial useful. That's how you're gonna go about screen capturing uh, video games or any other sort of screen based computer based video capture for tutorials like I'm doing right now you can use open broadcaster to do that I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial